Here we have the the Blue Voice Yeti X uh, microphone. This is the the blackout uh, version. Oh, let's open it up and find out what's inside. Got a single tab at the back. I did pop this open earlier, but it hasn't been unpacked. Some nice packing straight away. What have we got in there? Mmm. Oh, I never want to pull anything really. Are we flipping that or are we doing that? Same as if we put our finger in the this opening at the top there and pull away from the box, we can get this thing to come apart. I'm not trying not to rip anything. There we go. Now I meant to slide this thing out. So, box is completely separate. Let's have a look. The top part, is it? Oh no. The side. I need to cut that. Okay, I scraped a knife. Razor blade is probably a better idea actually. There we have it. And we are inside. Yay! Okay, I've got a bunch of decals. Uh, lots of nice foam foam packing. And wow. It looks pretty nice. Check that out. That's pretty heavy. It's definitely made not to topple over, that's for sure. There's a foam cradle in there. Stair upright, I think. <laughs> wow. It's a beast. It's an absolute beast. Look at that. Mm. Right, so in the packing up here we've got our cabling. I think that's all we have in the bottom there. We'll have a look. Yeah, it's just some uh, anti not anti stag, it's anti moisture packing, and that seems to be it. One USB cable, a mic with our stand, and some decals. Slash it, sorry. It actually is our instruction manual. Wow, it's kind of light on the information. I think you just meant to stand her up like that. I think what we'll do is we'll set this up with the laptop and we'll see how it sounds. That's what, it's, that's what you're here for, really, isn't it? That's all there is to it. You've got the mic, your USB cable, and a single page of documentation. Pretty cool. Setting the mic up should be as simple as pl plugging in our USB cable into the mic, which, where is the connector? I just assumed it was in the back, but it's, Oh, to the bottom down there. Try out the base down there. Make sure we get this in the right way. Is it that way? Seems okay. And uh, I've got Audi Audacity running already. I think I've got the driver will boot and uh, let us do something with it straight away. See how, how plug and play she really, really is. Uh, it's just USB 2 by the looks of that. 
Shouldn't matter, it's just audio. All right, we've got a device plugged in. Let's see if we can get some. We might have to restart Audacity, actually. Okay, we'll try restarting Audacity. Most of these applications pick up the available devices when they boot. So, okay, I'm saying, got a real tech micro microphone. That's my other, sorry, the Yeti X is there. Let's try that. Um, let's just hit record straight out of the box. Uh, we'll hit record. Uh, the mic is saying that it's active and I'm about half a meter away from it. I'm clicking right next to it. Wow, a lot of signals getting through. So I'll just excuse the scraping. Ah. Hello, Yeti X Blue Voice. How are we going? Fantastic. I'm about, I'd say about 20 centimeters away from the mic. So it's like a pretty low signal there, but we're getting a, a decent amount of signal. If we get right close to it, I'm very close. How am I? Ooh, a bit more signal. Cool. Let's uh, see how it sounds. Too many S's in that. Mm. All right, hit stop. We'll rewind back to the start. And uh, let's play this thing. Record. Uh, Mike is saying that it's active and I'm about half a meter away from it. I'm clicking right next to it. Wow, a lot of signals getting through. So I'll just excuse the scraping. Ah. Hello, Yeti X. Blue voice. How are we going? Fantastic. I'm about, I'd say about 20 centimeters away from the mic. So it's like a pretty low signal there, but we're getting a, a decent amount of signal. If we get right close to it, I'm very close. How am I? Ooh, a bit more signal. Now we've just had a, a quick run of the mic. Let's go through the instructions that do come with it. So on our panel over here, it's talking about the gain control at the front. And it's giving us an indication as well of how much signal is getting through, which is good. We can turn this up or down. How much now? I'm still quite a way, uh, probably about 30 centimeters away from the mic, uh, possibly a foot for those people who, who don't know what centimeters are. Go a bit closer. How are we going? Yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. It's got a peak as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm not using the headphones at the moment, but you can have a blend level between the two, which is good. It's giving us an indication about if we're going into the red zone, how much. Oh, is our signal too hot? In other words, we can mute our mic, which is a very handy thing. Just try that button on the front, I think, mutes it. Uh, and we'll check the signal out on the screen and we are muted. Excellent. The nice red signal there at the front there as well. Very cool. Uh, what else we got? We've got patterns. I'm not quite sure what that's meant to be. And really that is the sum total of the documentation. Hard to believe, but uh, that's it. And this, they are showing us to make sure that we 
stand our mic vertically up. Hmm. Beyond that, I think, and uh, beyond that, let's turn the mic back on. Beyond that, uh, and its positioning seems to be about the only thing they're concerned about to try and make sure that you're talking through the membrane at the top there. Um, pretty cool, pretty impressed. So we'll see how uh, it comes in how I find using it in the real world. But at this, at this point, uh, if you're looking for a mic, this might be an option for you. Seems pretty cool to me. On the box, it talks about this being the perfect uh, solution for, for gaming purposes, for streaming and podcasting. Now, I don't do any of those things. I just use it for my crappy tutorial videos and crappy crap like this. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that's been useful and it's fun to make something a bit out of the ordinary for me. And have a good time and I'll see you later. Bye.